Queer and trans people in Iran face legal and social discrimination. Same-sex relations are punishable by death. This is why Feze Demi and Aitag Dibavar moved to Canada from Iran to research and share the untold stories of Iran's queer communities. They are artists and activists, and their play The Little Black Fish is part of the 20th Hamilton Fringe Festival. The play focuses on stories of survival, on love, hope, and resilience. To tell us more, Feze and Aitag join us in studio this morning. Welcome to the show. Thank you. There is a famous Persian book called The Little Black Fish. This play is, was inspired by that book. Tell us more about what it was about the book that hits so close to home for both of you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, the book, uh, the inspiration for the name came from the Little Blackfish book, which is a really famous uh, Iranian children's book back home. It written in the 70s. And um, I got my little blackfish tattoo on my second immigration anniversary. And yeah, and the moment that we decided to do this show, we knew that it is going to, the name should be The Little Blackfish. Yeah. And the book is about uh, swimming against the current, swimming against the norms, mm -hmm. and the queer people are swimming against the cis heteronormativity from day one. So mm -hmm. that's why. Is that what spoke to you too from yeah, the book? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I think that was a moment of realization for both of us mm -hmm. when we said we want to do this play and what better represent what we want to do. And strong um, messaging. Yeah. You both have experienced queer and transphobia in Iran. What has your experience been like here in Canada? Um, glad you asked this question because oftentimes people assume that queer and transphobia are not part of a Canadian society and these things happen somewhere else and um, beyond Canada. But unfortunately, both queer and transphobia takes place over here and we have both experienced it here. It's not to say that these things are same and happening in this and in kind of the same um, um, and the same level, mm -hmm. but that it exists. For example, the march that happened in August that united the conservative Muslims and Christian nationalists, the one million march that basically set the message to a a lot of LGBTQI plus members of the society that their lives doesn't matter, that they should not be included in education system was really a, a moment of realization for us that we really want to do this, not just gen for queer Iranian, this is obviously they are our main audience, but also for a lot of queer and trans folks over here that they want their um, stories to be shared. They, mm -hmm. they want to know that they're represented. And speaking of those stories, uh, you both are going to perform some monologues for us on the show today from The Little Blackfish. Uh, Faze, I'm going to let you take the stage first. Yeah. Thank you. Do you want to set this up for us before you, you both speak? Um, yeah. Uh, my set is going to be about, uh, I'm doing this interview with, in a documentary, it is about queer deaths. And I'm talking about my late best friend who tragically um, uh, gave her life, and uh, she was a trans Iranian woman and a, a, a main translator of queer theory books to Farsi. So, all right, the stage is fine. yours, Faisal. Thank you. So, your first question was about her publications, right? Yeah, she was one of the main translators of queer theory books to Farsi, and it was her main dream to get published back home in Iran, but it never happened due to heavy censorship. I hated the fact that she had to publish her book and her works online and for free. I knew she loved it, but I saw how it made her miserable financially and mentally. But can you believe it? Having a queer theory shelf in every single major bookstores in Iran? I know that looked like a dream, but who knows? It might get happen, and on that day, I will celebrate with her favorite drink. Mezcal sour, slightly Sweden, as always. Daisy, thank you. Thank you. Um, Itek, do you want to set up your monologue for us? Absolutely. 
Um, this is about a newcomer immigrant who is trying to settle in Canadian society. Um, the scene is taking place in a writing workshop where they're talking about their favorite objects. And uh, she's struggling because she doesn't have her favorite objects with her, but simultaneously she also haven't found her, have come to her gender identity, new queer gender identity. Um, so, yeah. I got this tattoo in my second immigration anniversary. Not long after getting diagnosed with ADHD and realizing I was a late bloomer lesbian. Whew. Why did I know it until this time? And why, when I came out, no one was surprised? Well, if you knew it, why didn't you tell me? I guess it was only a surprise to me. It took me 30 years, 30 long years and a drunk conversation in a bar with my out and proud lesbian friend to realize I'm a lesbian. She looked me dead in the eye and said, forget about imagining yourself in bed with a woman. The most important question is, can you fall in love with a woman? And falling in love, I did. How beautiful. Thank, Thank you both so much. Of Little Black Fish opens July 20th. Uh, and I want to let everybody know that the festival is on until Sunday, July 28th. For more information, head to hftco.ca for more information. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.